today's episode of Weston Champlin. I almost burned down my Ford Ranger in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Ranger is ready to go to LS Fest, Texas. Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway. So the thing is guys, I'm actually really lucky that I got a golf cart this time because the last LS Fest, I kind of got crazy with the golf cart because me and uh, Demo Matt and Roman Atwood got in a very heated competition, right? Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Come on, baby. One, two, yeah! <laughs> and I ended up winning, but the consequence of winning was I accidentally rolled over the golf Oh, oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Yep, oh my god. Oh. Parker, where are you? Busted! Oh. Hold on, Matt. Hey, somebody flip this thing back over. I told you not to give me a cart that my name wasn't on. Okay. He literally just said, I'm not gonna destroy this golf cart. Are you good? Can we just say, we won? <laughs> I didn't see you guys pass me. I leave you alone for 10 minutes. You told me to come up here. Are you mad at me? <laughs> what did you do? They challenged me to a race. Right. But here's the secret. What? I took their golf cart. Mine's perfectly fine. So we're going to treat this one very, very nice. I'm trying to go at all and it won't. Oh! Oh! God damn, boy. Look at that tire on that thing. That's some thicker in my ass cheek. You have? Your mama's house or where? God damn, it's a team of gimbals. Holy <laughs> shit. It's an army of gimbals going out. you guys got? You guys it's got up. money, money. We ain't never met. Richard, how you doing, man? Wes and Jim, we're good to meet you. Right on. You guys are hitting it, getting crazy. I'm starting to feel like the old man in this business. Oh, man, I don't know about that. I just found a gray beard here the other day. I don't know how to feel about it. Was it yours? Oh, well, <laughs> I feel like I just bought an IROC Z Camaro, and I want to smoke Marlboro Red 100s. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2023 LS Fest Texas Burnout Competition. And I'll be honest, I come back to this thing mainly for one reason, that's to see tires pop and, well, stuff blow up, really. Hey, just 
Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that when we get home. You got some repairs to do. Yeah, I do have some repairs to do. You wanna come help me? Get some guys and push it off. Push it off? That's not her fate. Yes, that's her fate, she's dead. Everybody take a moment of silence for the ranger. She came out here, she ripped as hard as she could. The little $180 turbo gave it all she had. And it only caught fire once, take it, mind you. And that's not really that bad. Aw, I love every one of you guys that's out there waving. Can, can we just go ahead and give it a all Texas yell for the Ford Ranger? And just like that, I won. <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of an update of what's happened here, right? We ripped so hard. The power steering pump blew up in the middle of our burnout, right? Blue oil everywhere, and then it caught fire. We have to put, how long's the list? We have a full page of stuff we have to fix on this thing now. We gotta see if the motor's still okay because it got shut off right in the middle of doing a burnout. The wiring caught fire, the valve covers burned, the power steering pump needs replaced because it literally exploded from all the high RPM. And then on top of that, it also burned up the cable for the hood latch. It kind of hurt it all the way around, so there's a lot of things we need to do to it. But needless to say, we're gonna get her back up and running so we can do more burnouts. Okay, you want to pop a neutral and roll this thing out of here? This is the main reason I got more employees. That way I got more help pushing all my junk back in the shop. We could take this as a disadvantage and be bad, mad about it, or we can take it as an advantage and just say this is the perfect time to throw a Holly Terminator in. So we don't have a Terminator yet. Holly's shipping us one out. But we can go ahead and get all this wiring out of the way. That way when the Terminator gets here, we can pop it open and then throw it on. Uh, future Weston, by the way, the 90 is the supply and the 45 on the AN fitting is the return. In like two weeks when we're trying to start this thing, but I don't know why it won't start. I put the 45 on the supply and the 90 on the return. I don't know. And then you got like 5,000 comments like, You yo. did it backwards, dumbass. That's what happened. <laughs> oh, there we go. Remember, always spill fuel on top of all your wiring. Makes it work better, you know? We're pulling the intake off this bad boy. That way we can uh, you know, get all the wiring off behind it. I got, a, I got a question, right? I haven't put a ratchet or anything on this. I wonder if this intake bolt's supposed to be tight. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. The rest of them must have been giving it really good because it is holding some boost in. Oh, there she goes. Hold on. Is that boost line just unhooked? <laughs> Guys, don't worry about that. We just had a massive boost leak in the bottom of this thing. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just poured ethanol all over myself. So, the thing is, we've got it this far tore down. We might as well pull the motor all the way out. We got manual brakes we can put on it. We got a bunch of other stuff that we can do to it. So, this just cut from like a, we're gonna just take the wiring harness out and rewire it to, we're gonna take the whole motor out of it and rebuild the whole truck. But you know, sure will be pretty the next time we catch it on fire. Guys, we got to be excited while we was fixing up the Ranger. We pulled the motor out, repainted the entire engine bay, repainted the frame rails, the front of it, everything. And now it's time to do the satisfying part, which is like pull all the tape off. Oh, 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 hold on, get the line, get the line. Oh my God! The thing is obviously, guys, we couldn't cover up all the factory Ford Ranger information, so we had to leave that be. And there's a redneck science sticker underneath here someplace, and you know, then things add 100 extra horsepower to every vehicle you put them on, so we had to leave that. So, all we gotta do now, guys, is take that motor. With the banana bread on it. With the banana bread on it. Take that motor with the banana bread on it and put it back in the Ranger, put the turbo back on it, redo all the wiring, put the Dominator on it, put all the Holly stuff on it, and then she'll be ready to rip. I'd like to say monumental things right now, but I've already done this before, so, you know. <laughs> We're so scared right now. We're like, please don't drop the motor. Hold on. <laughs> Let's, let's edit that out. You remember what we had to do the last time to get this thing to go in all the way? No. I had to stand on it. That's the expert way of getting a LS into a Ford Rangers. If you stand on it, it slides in there. We're so cherry. Ooh. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's good. I don't want to die. Come on, baby. Get in there. Get in your home. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Both the motor mount bolts are in it. It's officially installed. So now all we gotta do is figure out all the things around the motors. Um, it's like starting a small block Chevy. <laughs> Bump it. It'll go. Wait, get in here, man. Handle this tranny. <laughs> installed. Go on, shine yet? <laughs> a brand new Terminator X. I've never put one of these on anything, but apparently they work great. Do you have any idea how to do this? Came with a free sticker, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> so, all we gotta figure out now is exactly how to put a Terminator on this thing. We gotta completely rewire the engine, put the Terminator in, put the dash in, and then get it started back up. Is that a breathalyzer? <laughs> <laughs> yep, you're drunk, you can drive. So guys, it's an exciting moment, right? The Terminator is ready to rock and roll. The thing should be ready to start. All we gotta do is input a bunch of stuff into here and tell this a lot about that. That way this can start that. Do you guys run through like a checklist before you started or how does that work? Well, just normally we it? just kind of look at things and be like, you know, it kind of looks like it might start. And then we <laughs> just, you know, crank it up. And if it cranks up, then that's good. We don't do any more checking. But if it don't crank up, that's when we go back to the checklist. All right, I think we're ready. We ready for this? guess those gaskets would have been fine dude i th really thought we was going to be like firing this thing up and then tearing it back apart and putting new head studs resurfacing the heads putting head gaskets in it it runs really freaking good for just like the bait it's running really good for just like a bass tune that the holly made from just like us putting a bunch of specs into it but before we take this thing into boost and actually go do a big ass burnout when you put it on the dyno and actually make sure that everything is right and is tuned right. So, let's load it in the trailer and then- eh, eh. Dude, I feel like skipping, I'm so happy. Guys, so here's the deal, right? We uh, just drove three hours this morning. The Ranger is in the trailer, unless it got stolen and we didn't notice at the truck stop or something. Hello, Ranger. Are you ready for your destiny? Oh, look at this. That's the secret to tying things down. Don't tie it down very well. That way, whenever you get where you're going, you don't have to worry about untying it. Right now, what's gonna happen? So these guys are gonna put this thing up on the dyno, strap her down. And you see that big old wheel back there? That damn ranger's gonna grab a hold of that wheel and try to spin the f out of it. I don't know if it can, but it's gonna try. Let's just hope for big numbers, big noises, and big power. Well, we made two pounds of boost and already blew one of the tubes off. But that's probably because we didn't tighten the clamp on it. So as far as problems go, that's a pretty good one to have. Ideally, if everything goes great and everything holds together, it should make like 800 to the wheel, which is like 20% of that. It's a thousand of the crank. A thousand horsepower Ford Ranger. It runs. The bad news is it don't make the power we want to, but it should. It's making 22 pounds of boost, but he was just telling me that it's kind of, they might do this if it's got a head gasket blown in between two cylinders. I would never have guessed those gaskets would have been fine. Which I don't want to hear, but it honestly wouldn't surprise me because we beat the ever-living shit out of this thing. Guys, we had a misfire, so it was running on seven cylinders, which we were talking a lot of shit like it wasn't earlier, but it was, and it only made 400 horsepower on seven cylinders. So, let's see what it does on eight. So we're at 560 right now, basically. So if we're still down three more cylinders, it's really 1500 dollars. We put it on the dyno, it's still like there's something wrong with it. It's still down a cylinder or something, it's not really making the right power it's supposed to, but we've now got two steps. And we're gonna try to blow a flame out the turbo. Might not be running perfect, but if it blows flames, I'm still happy. Now, you know what time it is? It's time to go home and do some burnouts is what time it is. 
We're just gonna ignore the fact it's not making as much power as it should, and it's making enough that it'll move it. Here's our plan. The last time this thing did a burnout, it caught fire, if you guys didn't notice. So, I believe what we have to do now is confirm that this thing is officially ready to rip by doing a big ass burnout. And if it doesn't catch fire, I consider that a success. See that? Somebody's murdered some tires. If anybody was wondering if the Ranger brings a smoke or not, she hauls the smoke with her. Don't you worry. She's always prepared. Remember how we said we thought the head gaskets were fine? I'm pretty sure 5,500 RPM two-step is not helping the situation any. Not Push really helping. Push exhaust gasket out more, it sounds like. Oh, damn, it blew, it blew both of them out. Look at it. <laughs> 10 seconds of two-step, we've already blown our exhaust gaskets out. All right, well, thanks for watching. It rips again, I'm happy. Hey, uh, do we have them turbos that Hellion sent us? The twins? Mm -hmm.